either reauthorize a new authorization for the use of military force to introduce a war powers resolution that would constrain the president. That's something that they haven't been able to do and have tried now, let multiple me tell times something. under multiple administrations See, and have failed you to do. And, you know, the other thing that I think I would say about the, too the House measure versus the Senate measure you in been. particular is is you the are already not too late. The force of law. It's not, you it doesn't actually you should have done this a long time ago before he killed that command. See, look, you might not want to believe me. You might not say, you might say I'm lying. But he has done one of the greatest things that any president has done the whole thing. Presidency. He has messed up your relationship with the Persians forever, especially with Iran. Listen, 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 listen. Like, bro, you know, of, you know Donald Trump fucked up bad, bro, when the whole Persian donated a dollar, bro. Just for his head, just for America downfall, fall. Do you understand? All this shit y'all going through, I sent the spirit of confusion into your mouth. All y'all are confused because I have a spirit of confusion around y'all. I have the spirit of lies around y'all. And you like, but they want everybody in the whole office lying to each other. Do you understand? Like, bro, he has the damage is done. You need four in the Senate. You have Red Paul and Mike Lee. See, your president Donald Trump and your American think that possible. She's not there yet. The, the is there president a Republican frustration at like being told essentially what they all came out to be? Oh, they'll fuck with you. you know, Pompeo, Esther, trying to build a relationship with them. But they don't want to fuck with you. Go ahead. They still mourn the loss of the general, the great man. Greater than Donald Trump will ever be. Greater than Donald Trump will ever be. But that Iranian general, commander, was greater than Donald Trump will ever be in his life. You feel me? He was greater than Donald Trump will ever be. Do you understand me? And Donald Trump is fucked up the relationship with the Persians, period. Because he was loved by everybody in Persia. Everybody in Persia loved that man, even terrorist groups, even assassins. They loved that man. They how much pool he had. He had connection with terrorists and the government and the other leaders of Persia. It was Saudi Arabia. You feel me? He had all of that. He has fought so up. This taken bro, in Yemen. that and action when he did kill their general is what spoils the American and Persian relationship forever. That one general, the death of that one general is what spoils the American and Persian relationship forever. Is what spoils Every person, Saudi Arabia, Iraq, think about it, but why is Iraq? You've done all that stuff for Iraq. Build an airfield, military airfield, and everything. And them niggas don't give a fuck about none of that shit. They're kicking you out. But they making up excuses for you. But the main, the main reason they're kicking you out of their country is because of their loyalty to their general. See, bro, you guys are Americans. You're a racist crap. You feel me? You, you've not been nowhere. See, you racist crackers, you racist white folks, you, you, you white folks in the, in, the, in the Congress, White House, Presidency, all that shit. You've never been nowhere else but America. You cannot go nowhere else. You've never been to the Middle East and you don't know how to live, you don't know how to operate. So you can't tell me shit. You feel me? I'm from Africa. We're close by them. We, we, we deal with them every day. You feel me? I have family that are Middle Eastern. I know how they act. I know what they do. You feel me? I know their loyalty. I know foreigners' loyalty. Do you understand? You white folks don't understand, so you never comprehend. Because you can't even go to the other countries anyway, because they will kill you. But they really don't want you in their other country. The only way you go to the other countries is when you with the government official or 
you feel me? You with the president, you don't know. You feel me? To the UN. And bro, man, the most place you probably go to is the UN. You feel like you will not go to Russia. Bro, man, you will not go to Russia. Or you will not go to Persia. You won't. White House saying it's a sign of weakness. Like, bro, right now, other people say like, bro, like I tell Donald Trump, if Donald Trump thinking he has a good relationship with the president, ask him to go to Persia right now. It was the United States government to go visit anywhere in Persia and see if y'all don't get attacked. I dare y'all to go to Persia. You feel me? All right. Fuck what everybody's saying, bro. If y'all keep telling, call me a liar, Donald Trump is easy. Take a trip. I mean, you could take you to military if you want to. Take a trip to Persia and see if you're welcome. You see how many people come for your head. Like I said, you would never do it because you a bitch, Donald Trump. And America is a bitch also. Y'all racist bastards are bitches. Do you understand me? I know what I'm talking about because I know what God shows me. But, and I know what I know. And I see everything that God has showed me. Do you understand me? <clears throat> and I know I'm right because I know these people desire. I see what they're doing right now. I have a prophetic eye. I have an eye that sees the whole world. Do you understand, Donald Trump? I'm not scared of y'all. I'm not scared of nobody. Because I'm a young, true man of God. And my God would testify for me. So that's why I'm not scared of nobody. Because my God said in Jeremiah 1 verse 4 to 10, he said he would deliver me. Don't be scared of their faces. Speak what he tell me to speak. Go where he tell me to go. And he would deliver me from y'all. So I'm not worried about y'all. Do you understand? Do you understand me? Like I said, Donald Trump, you are dead. Doesn't matter what anybody say, you are dead. You will not be able to go out of the country no more. The safest place you go to is Europe. You will not be able to go to North Korea again. You will not able, but you will not even be able to go to Israel. Cause you, boy, nigga, you take down Israel, boy, you gonna have so many niggas at your fucking head in Israel. But you're not even gonna be able to go to the South Korea or North Korea, cause those people are all sent around Persia. And they could touch you and you, you I mean, they could touch you in the Secret Service and the military. The Secret Service will not be able to fucking save you. Like I said, you a bitch, bro. Donald Trump, and you are going to die. And I cannot wait for you to die. Like I said, I cannot wait for America to fall. So that way my God will get glory. So that way I will get glory as a real man of God that I spoke it into existence. Man, fuck y'all. Like I said, you, you fucked up. You fucked up the relationship between. You fucked up the relationship between America and Persia, and you fucked it up for good. And it's gonna be war. They coming for your head, Donald Trump. You better have a lot of social security, secret service around you when you go out outside the country. When you leave America, if you go outside, even in Europe, they have, they have a bounty on you. But you're not even safe in Europe. Because anybody in Europe, bro, might come for your head also. You're not safe nowhere, Donald Trump, but in America. You will not be able to go nowhere but in America. I'm telling you, Donald Trump. But like I said, go out there and let's see, bro. Go out there, bro. You better have, bro, bro you going outside America, bro, but you better roll with a military, bro. Because your secret service is not going to be enough. I'm telling you, because I'm purging when they hear that you coming, but they're going to send somebody to try to get you, bro. The other countries are not as secure as America. The other country, countries don't really like you, Donald Trump. And they'll come and get you. And they'll touch you. Through those other countries, the foreign countries. Like I said, but you say I'm lying? Keep your eyes glued to CNN. Well, we're going to hear the news of it. Just stay watch. Keep watching. CNN, you're going to hear the news of it. Just watch and see what happens. Especially when I take peace. But I haven't taken peace yet, though. But when I take peace, then you're going to see what's popping. 
Donald Trump. When I take peace, you're going to see the truth what's popping. Then when I call it death and hunger, you're you going to know what's popping. But don't worry about it. But we haven't got there yet. We're still on the first seal. We, we are getting ready for the second seal, November the 7th. Just wait, Donald Trump. I will show your bitch ass. Watch. I will show you. I will show you why you need to fear me. I'm going to show the world why they need to fear me. I'm the king, why I'm king of kings. Why you stealing my oil doesn't take me, stop me from being king of kings. I'm going to show y'all why I'm king of kings. Wait and see.